trust levels in peer-to-peer, peer-to-peer, vehicular network. Urshad Ahmed Isumra. Isumro28 at gmail.com. 11th International Conference on its Telecommunications, ITST. August the 23rd to the 25th, 2011, Overview. Introduction. Requirement of Trust in Peer-to-Peer Vehicular Network. Properties and Components of Trust in Vehicular Network. Proposed Trust Levels. Types of Trust in Vehicular Network. Conclusion. Q&A. Vehicular ad hoc network is a special kind of network in which nodes, vehicles, can communicate with each other on the road and with its infrastructure, VINIT applications, safety applications, non-safety applications, trust. An entity can be trusted if it always behaves in the expected manner for intended purpose. All components of the network, vehicles and infrastructure, are behaving in an secure communication between the components, and serve the users and save human lives, security and trust. Security is one of the most important issues in vehicular network. Applications of vehicular network should be secure and user receives right information while traversing along their journey. Trust is also a key component of security and trust is governs the behavior of all components in the network which must behave in the expected manner. User, vehicle and roadside unit, RSU, are some components of trusted vehicular network. If any of these components of network unexpectedly change their behavior then it would signify that there is a breach of trust in the network. Requirement of Trust in Peer-to-Peer Vehicular Network What is trust, I system or component that behaves in expected manner for the particular purpose? Trust in VINIT, all components of the network, user, vehicles and infrastructure, are behaving in an expected manner, trusted communication between the components, and serve users which subsequently would save human lives, trust. Trust equals expectancy plus belief in expectancy plus willingness to be vulnerable for that belief. Expectancy, first module of the trust is expectancy. It means that the truster node, A, expects a specific behavior of the trustee node, B, such as receiving valid messages or effectively performing cooperative action upon that receiving safety or non-safety messages. Belief in expectancy, truster, node A, believes that the expected thing is true, based on evidence of the trustees, RSU, competence and goodwill, trust types. Trust in belief. Trust in belief is the trust placed on what trustee believes. Trust in belief semantics is that the truster entity, node A, A, believes on information X safety or non-safety message, that the trustee entities, node B, B, RSU, R, in the context of K within the truster's context of trust. Entity, A, has relationship with two entities, so we explain the belief of trust from entity, A, to entity, B, and then from entity, A, to entity RSU, R, trust types. Trust in performance. Trust in performance is the trust in what trustee performs such as the information created or the actions performed. Truster, node A, believes on messages that is created and receiving from trustee, node B, RSU, in a context within the truster's context of trust, or the truster, node A, believes in the performance of an action sending safety or non-safety messages, committed by the trustee, node B, RSU, in a context within the truster's context of trust, properties and components of trust in vehicular network. Context Dependence Function of Uncertainty Quantitative Values Transitivity Asymmetry Personalization Component Behavior 
User Behavior Node Behavior Roadside Unit RSU Behavior Proposed Trust Levels Zero Trust This is the first level of trust in which the attacker is dominant and launch different kinds of attack and it is not possible for other users of network to communicate and take service from network. Attacker X launched two different kinds of attacks, DOS attacks and send wrong message. In this scenario, Node B could not take service from RSU due to DOS attack and Node X also sent wrong message to Node B and Node B sent this wrong message to Node A, causing the whole network to be affected. Proposed trust levels. Weak trust, A. Weak trust is the second level of trust in which the attacker is able to launch different kind of attacks within some specific region. Some entities are affected with these attacks whereas other entities of the network can still perform their task properly and serve the users of the network. Explains the scenario in which Node B is not possible to make communication with RSU but it is capable to make communicate with other Node A. Proposed trust levels. Weak trust, B. Explains the second scenario in which communication is disturbed between vehicle to vehicle, V2V, due to DOS attack. However, Node B is still able to communicate and take service with RSU. But Node C could not communicate with Node A due to DOS attack. Proposed trust levels. Strong trust. Strong trust refers to the situation in which all entities of the network are trusted and work properly. There are no attackers in the network and this is a very ideal condition and every entity performing their task properly. The strong trust levels in which Node B is performing all types of task and takes services from other nodes and also from RSU. Conclusion Security and trust are becoming increasingly key challenges in vehicular network. Safety and non-safety applications serve users when components, user, vehicle and RSU, of the network behave in an expected manner in peer-to-peer -peer vehicular communication. Whenever any component of the network unexpectedly changes their behavior then it would be harmful for other users of the network. We proposed three different trust levels in peer-to-peer -peer vehicular network. We discussed in detail the functionality of different component of network pertaining to the trust levels, and emphasized the role of trusted users in peer-to-peer -peer vehicular communication. Please download this research papers from ResearchGate and Google Scholar. Please share this video and subscribe the Vinit channel and don't forget to view the series of Vinit videos. If you have any question then email at the given email id. Thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.